Okay, so here's part two. The um, last video um, I had to cut short, but um, so I finished that second one that I was doing, and I just adhered it to the bigger one. And um, this is the next one. You can see it looks like a funnel or some type of cup. And um, you're gonna flatten it out. Just kind of work the top down. Okay. Like so. And then you're going to put some glue in the center. And then adhere that one down. Okay. And I know right now it looks like just a circle of mess. But when you add glitter and some bling in the middle, you will have an awesome flower. So there's my bling of choice at the moment. Really beautiful. I love it. Okay, here's some more glitter glue that I made myself. I used this color. And this bottle had a little bit of gold in it. So. And now I'm going to take it and just kind of go just around the edges. Okay, so I'm very silent in <laughs> doing this, trying to make sure um, I get it right, but uh, you get the idea. And just keep going. Now, I haven't tried this with cardstock um, or any patterned papers. Um, I will, though, and then I'll sh um, soon, and I'll show you guys what it looks like or just how it... Um, comes together using um, cardstock or um, some pattern paper. So there's that one. Really like it. Okay, it's pretty big, but you could add a um, flower out to the side or a leaf out to the side, and it would be pretty. So um, on this one, I used the brown packaging paper. Um, that comes, um, I know that when I order anything from Stampin' Up, it has all that, that, you know, that brown packaging paper at the top of it, and I, I use the same technique as the first flower on this one, but, um, using that stiffer paper made it, made the flower a lot stiffer. And then on this flower here, I used, um, I actually used Rose's jeweled flower technique, um, I embossed and everything like she did. Um, I just didn't glimmer mist it though. So um, those are flowers. Um, you can get, like I said, so many different um, looks. With this one, though, I did the same technique as this flower with the wrapping it around itself, but I painted it with crackle paint first and then I heated it. And that made it curl up or curl in on the edges, okay. And then I, and then I went ahead with the um, assembling of the flower itself. And this is um, these two are one of my favorites, or you know, two of my favorites, right? And um, I hand cut the leaves on this one and this one. I just added some glitter to him. So there's that tutorial, you guys. Um, while I have a little bit time left, I'm going to show you um, a box that I made. Or somewhat like a chest or drawer. 
isn't it gorgeous I used the life's journey paper pack and I glimmer mist it with lemon meringue glimmer mist and then I edged it with walnut stain and um, it just pulls out and I keep my brads here I've got my eyelids here and some faux diamonds and a metal um, things up there these are my charms don't have that many charms but they're in here look at this cute little hat and then over here I have my binder rings and like clips and things like that so um hope you guys like this box I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorials on how to make my paper flowers and if you attempt to make them I would love to see what you came up with so thanks for watching Bye.